hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you very much for being here so in today's video i'm going to show you how to add pleats in front of your pants it could be on palazzo pants or a simple fitted pant and you can make it on shorts or full length pant but in this video i put it in front of palazzo pants because i like the vibrance it creates on palazzo pants and the fullness it creates as well so guys, if you want to learn how to do this, make sure you watch till the end. So I'm going to be working with my palazzo pants pattern. I have a tutorial already on how to create this pattern and I'll put it in the description box below. So I'm going to be using both the front and the back for this tutorial. Now starting with the front pattern, I've laid it down. The first thing is to determine the length of where you want your pant to be. So for mine, I measured three inches above the knee line on my pattern. And that is where I want this shot I'm making to be on. And I've made a line across it to identify where the length of my full pant should be. So now after determining the length, the next thing is to mark the dart area. As you can see right there. Then identify the length on your new pattern paper as I just did now. Now... You are going to trace the side and the pocket area and the waistline up to the dart area then to identify the, the green line on your new pattern you need a pattern tracer but if you don't have a rotary tracer or pattern tracer you can use pin or anything that can puncture to just puncture the lines so that when you remove the pattern you can see the marks on your new pattern then you can use it to make a line so now after I removed it and made my line, this is what it looks like. Now we have trade, traced half of our pattern. Then the next thing I did was to mark four in, five inches from the line I just made right there. This is the size of the pleats I want to make. You can add more after you must have experimented on this and you think it's small for you. But five is okay for me. So now on this line, the next thing I'm going to do is to place my pattern, making sure that the dart line meets the new line I just created, because that is where the second half of our pattern will start from. Now also, you're going to trace the second half of your pattern to the length of where you want your pattern to be. Then you puncture the green lines as well to make sure that it matches with the line you've made on your pattern, like this. You are going to make sure that this line on your green line on your pattern matches well with the one you've made already on your new pattern so when you remove it you're going to have something like this so uh, you see it's very easy to make so the next thing i'm going to do is to join the lines as you can see it here and my pattern is ready for pleating so the next thing i'm going to do is to use it to cut out my pieces and i've added seam allowance to the pocket area to the side seam and also added two inches for hemming allowance right here and the inseam as well then at the crush line area i added seam allowance and at the waistline as well so i'm going to set this aside to cut the back piece but before then you're going to identify the midpoint of this pleat box we've created where it started as well on both sides on your material your fabric and you're going to notch it and set it aside now for the back piece area we are going to first of all identify the length which is three inches above the knee line for mine yours can be more or less identify it on your new pattern paper underneath make sure you place it properly trace out your pattern as it is right here because only the front has the pleat so now as you have traced it out and you've set your pattern aside, make sure you trace out your dart as well. The next thing you're going to do now is to create zip allowance for the back side of your pant. And I've marked 9 inches from the waistline downwards. And the next thing you are going to do right here, as you can see, is to mark 1.5 inch seam allowance from the crush line area. And I'm going to connect it all together to this point and then connect it to the waistline. Now, after creating this zip allowance, you're going to cut out your pattern and then use it to cut out your pieces. And as you can see, I've done that already. 
and I've added seam allowance in the appropriate places. This crotch line has half inch, while the zip allowance has one and a half inch, then the waistline as well. Then I have my seam allowance for the hemming allowance and for the side seam as well. Then the next thing you have to cut out is your pocket pieces and your waistband. I have a tutorial already on how to create all these and I'll put the link in the description box below. So after cutting out these, the next thing we're going to do now is to start the sewing process. Now to start sewing your pants, remember on the waistline area you have that allowance on your pattern. Now to incorporate that into the pleats, the first thing we are going to do is to mark half inch more from these pleat lines we created in order to incorporate the one inch we already have on our pattern. So I'm marking half inch on both sides of the pleat lines right here to incorporate it into the pleats. Also note that you are going to be pleating from the right side of your fabric. So you pleat all the way to the middle point of the pleat box right there and pin up. Then you lift from the other side as well and pleat to the midpoint and you've created a kiss plate for your pants right there. So you're going to do this on both sides. After doing this, you're going to sew the pockets. To sew the pocket pieces on the right side of your pants, you're going to place the right side of your inner pocket piece like this on the pocket area, right side to right side to each other, like this. So after placing it, the next thing you're going to do is to sew it up with the seam allowance you created on your pattern piece. So after sewing it together, the next thing is to open it up to the right side, then place the outer pocket piece right side to right side to the pocket piece you just sewn in and then you sew from this point. So after doing that, the next thing is to flip it to the wrong side like this, as easy as A, B, C. So after doing this, the next thing you're going to do is to sew the pockets onto your pants by stitching the side seam area and then the waistline area as well onto the pant piece. And sewing the pocket is done. You do this to both sides of your front piece. Now, after sewing the pocket and pleating it, the next thing you're going to do is to join the front pieces from the crotch line area, from this point all the way to this point using the seam allowance you created. Now, going on to the back piece, the next thing I'm going to do is to pin up my zip allowance. And then starting from half inch above this point, I'm going to sew the crotch line all the way to this point then I've sewn my darts already for the back piece as you can see right there you sew your darts join the crotch line then pin up the zip allowance area the next thing we are going to do is to join both the front and the back piece together and to do that you're going to open up the back piece like this on the right side of the back piece then you are going to place the front piece to the back piece, right side of the fabric to the right side of the fabric on both sides. So after you must have placed it together, the next thing you're going to do is to join the pants from the side seam area, hem the bottom line of your pants. Then also you're going to be joining it from the inseam as well. You're going to join it from the inseam and you're going to sew from inseam downwards to the full length of your shirt and after doing that you should have something like this so next i'm going to be sewing the waistband and i've cut both the waistband and the lining using the same fabric next i'm going to be placing it right side to right side to each other as you can see here the next thing i'm going to sew the upper part of it together on all sides i'm going to notch the sewn areas to create flexibility for flipping over so now I've sewn it all, the front piece right here, the front waistband, and I've ironed it open. I've placed one of the back piece onto it, side seam to side seam, right side of the fabric to the right side of the fabric, and I'm going to join it with the seam allowance I created on my pattern. And I'm going to do same on both sides of the waistband. Now, after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is to trace the midpoint on my pants, center front, 
and the center front of my waistband as you can see right there i'm going to match it together and make a simple stitch by sewing this all the way all through from the center front all the way to the back side and on the other side as well so after doing that you're going to hold it on with an interlock machine and sew in your zipper then your pant is ready so guys as you can see it's very very easy to make and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please check out my other tutorials as well on this channel let me know what you think about this tutorial on the comment section below and i'll see you guys in my next video make sure you check out my other tutorials as well as you can see on the screen right here i may have something that may interest you so guys see you guys in my next tutorial stay safe thank you for being patient watching see you guys later bye